Yo, what's up guys? It's JJ, more stories, another quick uh, self-help episode because, you know, I'm up against Skyping and Zooming. It's new to me, so I'm going to give you these in the meantime. I keep them brief. There's no commercials. It's okay. You can't put it on cereal. A lot of my life coaching clients, coachjj37 at gmail.com, coachjj37 at gmail.com have something very similar and that is negative self-talk and I want you guys to uh, to pay attention if you have negative self-talk if you, if you get down on yourself a lot if you get frustrated with yourself if you wonder why the F did I do that man uh, this is for you you're okay the negative self-talk is a reaction to a feeling so if you feel embarrassed because you said something that somebody else didn't laugh at You then get angry that you're embarrassed and then embarrassed that you're angry because you maybe you looked angry on top of being embarrassed we feel bad about feeling bad a lot no good that's what has to stop first we lose our temper and then we go for a drive to cool off and then we're super pissed off that we lost our temper then we feel upset with ourselves that we lost our temper Then we're apologizing, groveling. Our apologies are accepted. We bring it up again because we feel lousy about it. That's no good. Imagine how much more brain space you would have if you didn't feel bad about feeling bad. Think about that. When you feel bad, I'm going to guess at least half the time, it's about feeling bad. Half. I'm right. I can't be wrong. I won't have a business doing life coaching. I know I'm right. Half the feelings most, way more, actually. And I'm going to tell you guys something about your feelings. Because I I stopped asking people to meditate. I just have them sit quietly now. Because when you say the word meditate, people get weird. You can't stop thought. And when, when I used to ask people to meditate, they said, I can't think of nothing. And I go, that, that's not, I don't want you to think of nothing. I want, you can't not think. Right now, don't think about, uh, let me see, a monkey sitting on top of a dog, and it's a monkey dog rodeo. Don't think about a monkey in a little, like, clown outfit sitting on a dog. Don't, stop it. You can't help it. You're thinking about a monkey on a dog's back. Think about a black lab. He's soaking wet now. Everything like a red collar, you're thinking about it still. Tags, and his name is Cock. You can't help what you think. You can't. But all you can help is how you react to what you think. You cannot help your thoughts. You cannot, listen to me, you cannot alter your thoughts that roll into your head. What you can alter is your reaction to those thoughts. You cannot control your feelings when they wash over you. You can control your reaction to those feelings. I'm going to prove this to you about negative self-talk. There's three people in you. If you have negative self-talk, I call the first one heavy. The heavy voice is the voice that's all your conditioning, all your history, all your baggage. And it's all the shit talking inside your head that makes you feel like shit. That's heavy. Okay? Then there's... Uh, the narrator the narrator is the voice in your head that can keep track of other thoughts let me explain when you lay in bed tonight just take two minutes that's it lay in bed for two minutes and just keep track of your thoughts as they go by the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to be alarmed at how many there are at once just the narrator keeps track of the thoughts if you're thinking about the poodle monkey rodeo or the black lab with the red tag and his tag says cock and his red collar. That's okay. Just all I want you to do is without any judgment, take note of that. And every single thought you have, keep making note of it. Without any, you're not allowed to have a judgment about your thoughts because you can't control them. This is what to prove it to you. That's the narrator that's keeping track of those thoughts. Eventually, what's going to happen is you're going to realize there's another voice in your head 
and there's thoughts going on simultaneously. There's the narrator, there's you watching your thoughts, then you're going to have a thought about your thought, then some other thoughts. Going to, at one point, you may have 20 thoughts at once, but you just got to be still and try this for me. Then there's the true voice. That's the voice that was you before you were hurt. So we have the heavy voice. That's a shit talker. He's got all the sandbags all over him and all the baggage you carry. All your conditioning, all your history, all your parents, all your peers. Any abuse, any trauma, every broken heart. That's the heavy voice. That's the one that shit talks you and makes you feel bad about yourself because you talk bad about yourself. There's the narrator. You lay in bed and keep track of your thoughts. The narrator is the one keeping track of your thoughts. Already there's two thoughts simultaneously in your head, whatever you're thinking and keeping track of the thought. And then there's your true voice, and that's the voice before you were born. The voice when you're a little kid that you trusted and you loved very openly and freely without any guard up. That beautiful kid inside you, man. That's who hasn't been heard from in a super long time. So I just want you to keep track of your thoughts. Also, what's going to happen, this is really trippy. You are going to notice where you are in relation to your thoughts in your brain. When I do this exercise, I'm to the left of my thoughts. My thoughts are on my right, and they're like ear high. They're a little higher than me. They're like ear high as they go by. And other thoughts are just kind of like scattershot everywhere. You're going to see it. It's really neat. Try that out. It's trippy. It's cool. I put my name on it. And the purpose of the exercise is to show you how many thoughts are happening at once. You cannot control them. And when you have that many thoughts going at once, it's amazing we listen to the one that shit talks us, to us, the heavy one. So if you do this for a while, you're going to see how many different thoughts are in your head at once and how impossible it is to control your thoughts because you cannot control your thoughts. And you got to let yourself off the hook for thinking what you think. And you're not allowed to feel bad for feeling bad. Okay? See you guys later. I'm out like shout. Peace. I don't know how to turn off my voice recorder. All right, hit it.